We've been hearing from the auto workers now. They are saying in all of the big three car companies throughout Metro Detroit inside the plants, they need to be shut down for safety, just like schools and restaurants and bars were shut down by the governor. There is a meeting one hour from now with the big three and the union to discuss the future. But the reality is right here across the street and also over at Ford in Dearborn. It's just not feasible for us to be in there. It's a cesspool of germs that there's no possible way they can keep us safe and healthy in this facility. Ford will only say a worker here inside Building 5 on the engineering campus in Dearborn tested positive that the worker was not on the job at the time of exposure or diagnosis. At the GM Tech Center in Warren, a positive test last night. The Coal Engineering Center was shut down for deep cleaning with the intent to reopen it. We've been in contact with the family. Uh, we've also been in contact with the uh, people that this individual might have been in close contact with at work. And we've given them advice to uh, self-quarantine and you know, if they begin to show symptoms, they should seek medical attention. UAW President Rory Gamble sending this letter to the membership that the union on Sunday requested a two week shutdown of operations to safeguard our members, our families and our communities. Your UAW leadership feels very strongly and argued very strongly that this is the most responsible course of action. The companies, however, were not willing to implement this request. They asked for 48 hours to put together plans to safeguard workers in their facilities. Stephanie Carpenter works at the GM Romulus engine plant and says dozens of co-workers commute into the plant every day. People coming up, moving around, parts to parts, whatever, and then they go home to their families and people have long distances to go home. They don't just go straight home. They stop at a gas station, they stop at a party store, they stop at the grocery store. UAW letter goes on to say these companies will be put on notice that the UAW will use any and all measures to protect our brothers and sisters who are working in their facilities. And make no mistake, we have powerful allies who have stepped up to help us. A GM spokesman said this earlier about shutting down plants. There's really uh, nothing I can say um, that would just be speculation. Uh, we are watching this very, very closely. The union says their powerful allies are the governor and Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, who pressured the big three to form this task force. Again, the meeting in one hour. We are told it will be a conference call. We will keep you posted. Live in Warren, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.